It's time to start the only way we know how with the warm up. Brought to you from our friends at Brick and Barrel with a wonderful family atmosphere. Brick and Barrel has a beautiful beer garden and is just the place to take in a game or celebrate after. Brick and Barrel, 155 Joyner Parkway in Lincoln. The way you warm up is the way you perform. So to be the best, you gotta warm up with the best. So warm up with us as we sit down with a member of the Potter's coaching staff to talk all things Potter's. It's time to get loose and warm up right here on Stone's Radio Networks. Ben Lowe here, a very, very special guest today, the unofficial mayor of Lincoln, Mr. Ray Garcia. Thanks for joining us, Ray. Oh, thank you for having me. It's fantastic. Okay, so you were a great player in the, in, at Lincoln. You're a ball player from Lincoln. Your sons, Eli and Isaiah, were great ball players. They started out in Lincoln Little League about 100 yards away. We all started together, and then they played high school. They played junior college. They played college. They came back, and they played for the Potters. So how do you feel about that, that, that you know, the circle is closed. They came. They started in Lincoln. They came back and played for the Potters, and now they're part of the pat, uh, fabric of the Potters. And they may last a long time in this town. So they're part of that fabric. They're part of that history of the Potters. That would make you feel pretty good. Well, first off, um, I don't know where you got the information. I was a great ball player. I well, I, I have I have my sources, as uh, you know, and well, they tell me that. Oh, yeah. Well, well, I don't believe you. them, but I, I I checked it out, All right. and uh, you were a ball player. All right, ball player, great. I don't know about that, but anyway. Um, yeah, with Isaiah and I, uh, Eli, um, it's so proud of them guys. Yeah. You know, all, all, you know what they've done, what they've accomplished. You know, um, being, um, I mean, I mean, we we were we were on the same team, little league as well. Yeah, I mean, like 15, 20 like, years ago. Yeah, it yeah. seems like it. Our boys, huh? The and, Padres um, and the Giant, whatever it was, the yeah. Padres with the camouflage uniforms oh, yeah, and that everything. Was, that's some yeah. fun stuff. But yeah, um, wow. I mean, I re- it's taken me a while to really sit back and think about their, uh, you know, the careers that they had, you know, um, and just, I still remember as little guys playing baseball and, uh, it's a funny thing when I'd see them out here and, uh, on the Potters, you know, field and, you know, McBean where I ate, I, was, I tell some of these guys, I graduated eighth grade out yeah. here, you know, and, and in the outfield, and it was all dirt yeah, and it <laughs> yeah. was football bleachers and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. In high school, we graduated in left field, you yeah. know, so it's just, sometimes I get deja vu, you know, I'm just like, wow, look how awesome this is. But back to them, them two, um, you know, I'm just so proud. I mean, being Lincoln and, you know, when we first started here, um, um, Matt Lundgren and, uh, got a hold of me and wanted, to, you know, some Lincoln players. And, right. And, you know, uh, Chris Wyatt and, uh, you know, Larry, Larry Wyatt as well. Um, so they brought up Isaiah, you know, and and he was one of the first signs in 2017. And, you know, that was the start of it. And Yeah, he was one of the first, if I may, he's one of the first Division One guys that we had. He went to, to Fullerton, and he kind of opened it up to right. a, a lot of other kids who came in. So he really was the starter of it, I think, as far as opening it up to the talent that we see out there today. So it's got to make you feel good. You look out and you see all these guys from Kansas and oh, Kentucky man. and all these places. And it kind of started with, with Isaiah and a little bit with Eli as well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, you know, I mean, it's – it's hard to even, you know. It is. It's a kind of monumental yeah, to think about it. When yeah. you think about it in the whole, I, I was thinking about it when I knew I was going to talk to you as, as part of the fabric because that is the Potters are part of the fabric mm-hmm. of Lincoln baseball. For and sure. it goes back to the Lincoln Little League and starting up. Yeah. And so now they're a part of that. And now uh, we'll talk about it a little bit later. But now uh, Isaiah's, uh, you know, ball player and Eli now is a coach uh, at Roseville High School, <laughs> yeah, which wow. is, I, you and I are both <laughs> wow. pulled over by that. So it's incredible. But let's talk a little bit more about you as far as, you know, you're talking. Uh, with Matt Lundgren back in the day when they were first getting off the ground, and all of a sudden you had contacts and you knew people. So how did your position with the team kind of evolve? Okay, well, so when you know me, how it's funny because the year before, Matt Lundgren was the GM of the uh, Sacramento Stealth. Okay, and we were in the Gold West League, and Isaiah was on that team. And funny enough, we didn't have a home field. We traveled. We were visitors for like 49 games. Right. And, and that was tough. And we so, know what a, t- what yeah. a grind that yeah. is. So yeah. So then when the following year when he came here, and me and Matt really didn't know each other, and then I seen his name that he was the GM, and I actually kind of reached out to him and said, hey, uh, you know, um, I have a, a son here. And right. we talked. Oh, yeah. And then we reconnected. He knew Isaiah. So he said, hey, let's, let's, let's start this up. And so I talked to Isaiah at that time, and he said, hey, I'd like to bring a couple guys that I played with. Sure. Would that be okay? And and one of them had to be uh, Derek Molina, was his roommate at Northridge when we first came. And we talked to Derek, and he was on board on that. And then a couple other guys, one guy from uh, Granite Bay, um, Zach Hall. Right. Um, he, he, he played. And uh, uh, Steindorf, uh, Matt Steindorf was another kid. And um, 
I think those were the four that we that you know besides his brother, the kind Eli. of the germ of it yeah. that's kind of started yeah. here, and that was back in what 2017. 2017, right? yes. Yeah. And so we came on to and I came in in 2018, and it was already kind of kicking right. in. But still, there were more and more guys being added. So oh, yes. Let's let's fast forward. You know, let's fast because we could talk. We could. Oh we yeah. Could do a whole podcast. I'm trying to. About yeah. this. Let's fast forward to last night when oh. I'm out, I'm sitting back here and I'm looking out in the field and I see Marjum <laughs> over there. And I'm going. I know Marjum. I said, I look over. I said, Well, that's not Caesar. <laughs> It's not Brock, and I was informed that it's the unofficial mayor of Lincoln, Ray Garcia, coaching first base. How did that come about? Oh, wow. So I get into the clubhouse, and, you know, I'm knowing that uh, Skip, uh, John Peters isn't here. I knew yeah. that, you know, and then, uh, you know, Nate uh, Espo, you know, he, it was his yeah. you know, birthday weekend, and, he, you know, he wasn't going to be here. We talked about that on Thursday. And, then, of course, Caesar is with, with John Peters in, right. uh, in Cooperstown, and, so I'm not thinking nothing. You know, I'm just getting ready to get the boys ready for, you know, their Doing stuff. Doing what you always do. Yeah, you know, and then all of a sudden uh, uh, Coach Marge goes, hey, you're suiting up. I'm like, nah, you ain't you're kidding. He's he like, heard you were a great player too. So <laughs> hey, I don't know. know. He's like, no, you're getting some pants on. You're my first base coach. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. And he said, I need you. It's either you or Emma. And we need Emma. And no, we that. need Emma Emma's as the, the best trainer, trainer around. Yeah, you know, yeah, we you need know. her. So I said, okay. Yep. How much time do I got? He goes, you don't have time. Let's go. I'm like, oh, man, okay. So here we go. So I slipped on, found some, some pants that fit me, and I, you know, found a sweatshirt, jumped out there, and, the, you know, the boys are, you know, they're, I love these guys, you yeah. know what I mean? But they're getting, now they're giving you the needle, oh, they aren't give they? Me the needle. Yeah, so they're they, giving you the needle. So then I told them, I said, listen, if you're going to get me some pants on, we're going to hit. <laughs> we're hitting. You know what I mean? We're not going to, we're, yeah, we're going to hit. I was going to ask you that. Now, tonight, <laughs> you're being replaced by oh, a guy yeah, yeah. who usually sits in that seat, Mr. Stones McCoy, and he's got to be a little bit intimidated because you brought in five home runs and 13 <laughs> runs. He's got a little work to do out there tonight. Well, I think I think he has a different philosophy. I think we're going to go with pitching with Stones. You know what I mean? <laughs> we're going to have a good outing on the mound. You and, don't you know, think he can motivate the hitters? I, I think he's going to go with the pitching, and we'll win a good game. How about that? You know, going to win mean? a close it's one? It's hard. I mean, it's – It'd be nice to get some five home runs, twelve oh, runs. Man, that you know, was that, so much I mean, that would be nice to have every game. But let's, let's, you know, let's, I, I like pitching. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I really do. I think we have a good guy in the mound tonight. You know, Anthony Perez going yeah, tonight. Yeah, I, I really think you know we're, he's going to buckle down our and our our uh, back end and our middle. They're, they're really strong. I'm I'm not too sure who that is, but I know that we have some. We'll fill so many stones yeah. to come up with something. Oh yeah, we have some junkyard dogs over there, so I'm pretty sure that mountain. You know, th those hitters, they they've been working hard. You know, Marge and they're them. salivating now because yeah. of last night. That's aren't funny. They? Yeah. You, that's funny you say that because. One of the first guys that I seen as I came through the with my pants on, I seen. Uh, <laughs> but that's I good seen, that you had your pants yeah, on. I seen Bre Bre uh, Peyton Brennan. Peyton yeah. Brennan, and he was taking a drink, and it looked like, and he you could ask him when you when you see him. I looked at, him, I said, you look like a, you look like a dog right now. Like he had <laughs> saliva coming, saliva's coming down, and he we laughed about it, and sure, you know, I, I didn't have nothing to do with it. That, you know, that's a great ball player yeah. right there. And he hit those home runs, and we laughed about it. I said, I told you you looked like, you know, a dog that just needed some good food to eat. And, man, that, that was pretty impressive, well, you know, what we, those guys did today. I have to stop because we're going like 30 minutes in the interview, and we're only <laughs> supposed to do five. But I, wanted, I do want to ask you one more serious okay, question again. Ahead. Now, you've been with the team basically since the start. So uh, what are your thoughts or what are your hopes for the team when you come in every summer? What, what would you like to see? Is it just a matter of, oh, we want to win the CCL, obviously, but it's more than that I know with you because you've had ball players and right. you know what it takes to make a ball player. So when, what are your hopes for the team every season when you come well, in? Well, I mean – the whole, you know, like you said, the win. But I like these guys, and every one of these kids when they leave Lincoln, because it's our hometown and my hometown. You know, I always tell them, you know, hey, I don't really talk baseball with them. You know, I just always just tell them, hey, guys, like, if you just be competitive, that's all I care for. Because these guys are my home. You know, this right. is my hometown, and I see these guys at the local store and everything. That you know, I'm always wearing Potter stuff. So, you know, I always said, you know, just play hard, and you know, the town is gonna love you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and the scoreboard. You know, I let our coaches talk about that. You know what I mean? I said that's all I really talk about. And then you know, we eat, but. You know, when they go back to the respective schools, say, hey, you know, when their teammates say, where were you at this summer? Hey, I was in a small town in California called Lincoln. You know, it was great. You know, yeah. People, everything was just awesome. I mean, that's what I like. You know, what we like every player that comes through here right. and every summer. I mean, that's kind of like my goal. I just, you know, I'm just kind of the dad, you know, dad role. Because right. a lot of these guys, when they come from out of state, you know, their parents don't get to come all the time. And we're fortunate to have, you know, you guys up here doing a wonderful job where they could, you know, get to follow them, right. and, you know, and and all that so really every summer i just like meeting these kids and you know they're like my summer kids as well 
And just when they leave, you know, like, hey, man, Lincoln was just an awesome place. And that makes me feel so good because it's my hometown. That's you fantastic. Know. I mean, in my backyard, I grew up really across the street. I know honestly. that. I know. I've been there. I know. <laughs> yeah. Ray Garcia, thank you so oh, much for spending you. some time. We could do this. Another, we'll do it another time oh. before the end of the season. Well, Thanks so much for being here. You. And uh, we'll talk to you again down the road. All right, Potter up. You got it, buddy. Potter up. We're back with more pregame right for this on the Stones Radio Networks. Lincoln Potter's Baseball. Placer County's best kept secret is back for another exciting summer at historic McBean Stadium. 33 action packed home games loaded with fun for the whole family. Local beer, wine, and eats. Fireworks, giveaways, theme nights, kids zone, and more. Come join in the fun and enjoy small town baseball with Major League Entertainment. Tickets on sale now at LincolnPotters.com. Lincoln Potter's Baseball. Come on out and join in the fun.